Well, what's going on you guys? It's your boy Lloyd here with Mr. Evil Stifler. With the Single Guy channel. We got a good video coming out with you guys today. Uh, we're gonna be talking about a very important subject. So a lot of guys, when they see me out, a lot of my clients and students, will be like, Lloyd, how did you get this girl to do this? Or how did you get, your, get her to come to the bar with you? How did you get her to dish your friends? How did you get her to like buy you a drink? All of these things, it comes down to leadership. And that's what a lot of you guys aren't doing that I've seen out. They kind of just talk to a girl, and you think just something, some magic is supposed to happen over time. Uh, but we really have to exercise leadership and you have to exercise social uh, calibration, making sure that you know what you're doing. And if she sees that you kind of don't know what you're doing, then she's going to find somebody who does. Which would be me. <laughs> which, would, which would be us, exactly. So, so I learned all of this stuff. Learned all of this stuff from Evil Stifler. I mean, leadership is so important, guys. Being able to get her to come home with you, being able to get her out on a date, all of this is leadership. Not only does it show that you are a man who knows what he's doing, but it shows that you're on top of your shit, that you're an attractive guy, and that's really what she's looking for. She's not looking for a guy who's just hanging out. No, and the main point of leadership is not giving people options, because when they have options, then they start to hesitate, they second guess, and you know, you wanna be able to, like if you meet a group of people out, you know, A, you wanna convince her friends that you're feeling that they are comfortable with you, that you're a normal person who's not gonna go fucking murder their friend. It's gonna be summertime right now, and there's gonna be a lot of people partying out. You're gonna be out as a single person, going out and meeting new girls and groups, then there's gonna be guys in the group, and you know, you might not be the necessarily the best leader yourself, but you still wanna be able to make bring somebody from one point in their day to what you want it to be. So let's say that all right, you, you kind of want you to gotta, invite them onto the adventure. Yeah, you want to invite them onto an adventure. And if you don't have an adventure, fucking make one up. Exactly. Yeah. So Lloyd and I just started a band. And we have a show later on. We're all going to meet up at this bar around the corner um, on, on 16th Street. And you want your girls come with us or meet us up before we go out to the show later on. Oh, okay, cool. What's your phone number? Boom, boom, boom. Or let's go right now. Okay, cool. Now you have somewhere to go to. You already are in doing something cool. You're in a band, you know. Um, or like, hey, uh, we're live artists, you know, or what the fuck chicks <laughs> dig nowadays, you know. Um, just make something up. Just yeah, make something up. Exercise, and exercise then having a plan. With that. But don't make it something that's unattainable, you know. Like, don't be like, oh, we're having a party in my house and then invite a group of people over to your house and no one comes back, you know. And basically, if you're trying to pull one chick, you're not going to want to tell the whole group you're having a party at your house. Yeah. You know, unless you do have a party at your house and, or just have a big-ass house that you can go fucking separate people in yeah yeah you know. exactly but have a plan have somewhere to go a lot of you guys when the girl comes up to you and like you have a girl that likes you that is attracted to you but you just don't know what to do you don't know what the next step is a lot of it's leading to fun leading them to do something fun something enjoyable when people are out they're trying to have fun that's the number one thing that they're trying to do and if you're the best option you're the option that's taking her to those fun places taking her on an adventure or on an experience remember women care about the story if you're able to do that then it's going to be a lot more likely that she's going to want to hang out with you and be really attracted to you to go into as well. So um, a few weeks ago I was out and I was talking to this girl that I really liked. I thought she was really pretty and she was also like really sweet too. So um, I definitely wanted to have something to happen with her. So um, she was with a group and so I said, hey, why don't you come get to the bar and get a drink with me? Um, so she comes to the bar, gets a drink with me. Um, we sit down, we talk. And while we're talking, I was like, hey, there's this bar next door that's like really fun. Like you should come check it out. My friends are there. She's like, oh, I'd love to, but um, my my friends are here and you know I got this blah 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 XYZ reason she can't come with me so I'm like just bring them so we go back to her group I talk about the bar I'm like hey it's really cool they got like all this stuff happening there and um, and they're like yeah let's go so I lead the whole group there and that makes you look really good when you're leading an entire group and she's kind of like following you you know women kind of they, they just want to like pair up with the guy who's like the social leader that women respond a lot to social status and if you're the guy that's leading the group you are obviously the guy um, with the most social power in the group so I'm leading this whole group there I'm looking really good we get there um, people are start having a great time like my, my friends meet their friends everything's cool um, and then it was pretty easy sailing from there because I had led everybody there I had taken care of everything and not only was it easy for me to bring her home but her friends were actually cheering me on to like bring her home it was you know they liked me that much they trusted me that much yeah. <laughs> well they weren't saying that you deserve it you know what Katie Go home with Lloyd. Go home with Lloyd. <laughs> but if they see that you're with the boss, like they're kind of gonna follow suit. So um, that's the way to do it. But my little cousins uh, invited me out to Castro, and um, Castro on Wednesday. And somewhere in the city, they invited me. I don't remember. <laughs> um, 
It wasn't the cast room on a Wednesday. It was not in the cast room. It was someplace else. Some other place. Anyhow, so we get to the bar, and my little cousins are like fucking hammered. <laughs> they uh, they introduced me to this girl, and she's like some weird chick. I wasn't into her, and so I'm standing in the bathroom, like, and I'm washing my hands, and I turn around, and I see this smoking hot little Latina chick. <laughs> looks like a chick that used to be hot, probably still hot, but anyhow. Right, right, right. If you watch this, Alyssa, call me. Um, so anyhow, so I'm, I'll go, she's like standing next to the, hair, the hand dryer. So I would start drying my hands, and she's like looking at me, I'm like looking at her, I'm like, you're fucking hot. And she's like, you're, you're pretty hot yourself. And I was like, oh, you know, I like that. And then I just kind of leaned down and started making out with her. Bomb ass kisser, like great <laughs> lips. She was hot as fuck. Um, and so then I was like, oh, wow, that was, a, that was a nice kiss, you know? And so then I fucking, she's like, all right, yeah, I'm going to go pee now. And I was like, yeah, you do that. And I, I go outside and I run into this dude I know. And he was like, yeah, you just made out with my best friend. And I was like, oh, shit, what's up? <laughs> like, I already knew that guy. He's one of my uh, friends who used to work in my buddy's office. And um, so anyhow, then the three of them were like, oh, yeah, we're going to go to this other party later on. Come with us. And I was like, all right, that sounds, that sounds pretty cool. So then I'm walking over towards the coat check area, yada, 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 long story short, I run into this other chick, she's from England. She's got an English accent, and she's really hot, and she has like all these fucking cool tattoos, right? I don't know how many English accent it is. Kind of went Australian at the end, yeah, but it's it's close, it's good. Um, and so I'm like, she's like super hot, fucking tattooed all up, and I find out she's actually like a professional tattoo artist. Um, who gets tattoos or a tattoo model, if you will. And she happens to be in town for a photo shoot uh, tomorrow morning. She leaves tomorrow night, the next day. And she's also in town with four of her baller ass, the smoking hot English friends. And I didn't even know there's any pretty girls in England, but I, I learned there now there are. Still there, smile. There, there are. They had you know, immediate to moderate dental plan, I could tell. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it was cool. Had all her teeth. Um, and so anyhow, so then I'm making out with the tattoo chick, we're upstairs, they had, um, they were like, you know, doing things and stuff to get more on level, they, I think they were doing drugs. Um, Probably. They, I think they were doing some coke, they were doing some coke. And so, they're uh, sitting up there blowing lines in the top of this bar, and I'm making out with this one chick, and uh, her girlfriend's like, well, what, what are we going to do? Like literally asked through that. <laughs> she walks, she's like, but what about what about us? What are we doing? And I was like, oh, no worries. Uh, let's go to this other party I know about because I wanted to get them the fuck out of that neighborhood. Uh, so I, we went down to this other party downtown and they took a cab and I ended up meeting up when I was outside waiting for my cab because there was too many of them. And they're, uh, so they took a, 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 a big cab and then I'm from waiting for mine, the other chick and that guy come outside and I was like, kind of fucking drunk and I was like hey come with me I'm going to the party and so like I grabbed them and now I got two chicks that I've made out with and I'm bringing them both to the same party right and all their other groups are meeting us there like so Been you know there. whether it was me leading like my fucking holding hands and marching them through the door now I now I have two people so I get to the other party the first group can't get in right because the party they weren't letting people in past two luckily I'm fucking cool and I know people and I ran into my buddy and he was like, oh, what's up? And so I was like, oh, it's me and these fucking eight hot chicks. Can we come inside? And he was like, I think so. I think we can work that out. <laughs> so then uh, they let us in. And, you know, it was like three or four in the morning. The English girls were getting tired. The other girls, like, getting tired. I'm making out both of them, kind of in front of them. And they're both kind of like, pick or choose, motherfucker. You know, make your choice. You got to pick one. So I went with the little Latina chick because she was a local and a little hotter and the other English girls were with their gay buddy who was not going to fucking like ditch them yeah, and, unless, problem, unless huh? there was another gay dude there okay yeah. so I grabbed my friend Eric he's fucking flaming and I, <laughs> and I was like Eric buddy <laughs> hooked him up with the other dude and then so then we all the, like the ten of us all go back to these English chicks hotel room and, uh, and we kind of fooled around a little bit, but then it was just kind of, again, it was over leading. You know, the moral of it is, is lead to a point and then figure out where it's gonna go and don't continue, you know, to 
try and pull everything along. You know? Yeah, but you just see like this this guy had a bad night because he had too many girls. Like this is what can happen when you lead properly. Um, and then sometimes you lead too much, and then you have too much power, and then that's, you have to you have to pick and choose oh, at that man. point. So this is obviously like, the problems that you want to be having when you're uh, when you're going out if you're trying to like pick up chicks or something like that. Um, you got to lead. It's very very important. So any last any last things you want to say about that? Um, don't get punked when you're out there because you'll see other guys that are naturally alphas, <laughs> girls too, and you always have to be prepared for somebody to say some bullshit to you that might throw you off, you know? Yeah. So always put yourself in the position of leading with a positive purpose to where if somebody does say something negative, they look like the asshole about it. Yeah, you never want to look like, the, uh, when we say lead, I'm not saying barking orders at somebody, hey, get out of here, come with me. <laughs> you're, not, you're not shouting at them. Uh, you're being nice and respectful and polite with the way that you're doing it, but you're doing it in a way that's assertive um, and that is something that like somebody wants to jump on board for. And if people have a problem with it, like you said, they're gonna be the ones who looks like the asshole, not you. A good way of doing this is when you're talking to a group, and you're into a chick, right? And you're talking to her and you're trying to get them to all go somewhere else, grab her by the hand. And while everybody else sees that you're holding her hand and, and you're still talking to her and you're telling her about this other party, that accepts, the whole group is accepting that you guys are happy together now. Then yeah. they see that she approves of you holding your hand and you can tell her, you know, explain to her then where you want to go, what you want to do, what your, pl what your plans are. And then it kind of like neutralizes any like awkwardness is like, oh, does she like this guy? Is yeah. she okay with this? You know, because when you're holding her hand, you're making physical contact with her. And also, she's going to want to listen to what you have to say more because it's science. When you hold somebody's hand for longer than six seconds, their, uh, their brain chemistry changes and they're more apt to want to meet you and listen to what you have to say. So that works in a lot of, a lot of ways. You know? Just in general, if you just want to be talking to a girl, if you can hold her hand and talk to her at the same time, it's money. It is money. Uh, just don't be a creeper when you do it. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't be a creeper, but you can be like, Look, What's up, baby. Yeah, or like, I don't know. I don't want to touch the boy's hand like that because it just feels creepy doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's only creepy if I'm into it. Yeah. And then like, oh, whoa. Just turn, <laughs> turn your palm over. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. So just be smooth by the way that you're that you're leading. Practice it, and it, remember, if you don't have anything to, to lead to, make something up and just try with that and see where, where things go, experiment, let yourself fail a few times um, and learn from it. You don't get arrested. Don't get arrested. Don't, anyway. don't get in trouble. <laughs> don't get down. Stay positive. Stay positive, exactly. And watch the single guys videos all the time. Every day. Every day, wake up in the morning, piss excellence, and watch the single guys videos. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool, you guys. Thanks for watching. If you made it today, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. I'll try and have you a little stiffler back on at some point. Um, and yeah, if you're interested in my weekly one-on-one -on -one coaching program, hit me an email, uh, thesingleguy2017 at gmail.com. I'm also coming out with a separate mentorship program as well, so ask me about that if you're interested in that. Any questions, put them in the comment section below. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.